a key component in DevOps is Docker, a mini virtual machine that is lightweight and efficient for running different types of production environments. Imagine having a magic box that contains everything your application needs to run, the code, the libraries, and the settings. Docker packages your application and its dependencies into something called a container. Each container will have a blueprint, which is known as an image. It's a read-only template that defines how your application should look and behave. Containers, on the other hand, are instances of those images, which are lightweight, isolated environments where your application is set up and run in a matter of milliseconds. The only difference between an actual virtual environment and Docker is that virtual environments have virtual hardware, whereas Docker consists of a single kernel that has virtual operating systems. And since the kernel is the same for all applications, they don't need to be reconfigured according to the respective hardware configurations of the system. But how does Docker communicate with the rest of the world? Docker works with a client-server architecture, which can be interacted with using a command line interface or REST APIs. If you don't know what REST APIs are, please check our video on how APIs work, which you will find at the top right corner of this video. Docker runs a background service called Docker Daemon, which handles and manages containers. And the images of these containers are centralized at the Docker Hub or other repositories. Oh, well, that's convenient. The advantages of having these in images is that you can pull them and replicate them whenever and wherever you want and boom, your app is up and running. But why would you actually use Docker? And I don't know. You tell me. Imagine never having to say it never works on my machine ever again. Of course it never works. What never works? Docker ensures consistency across different environments. Whether you are developing, testing, or deploying your application, it behaves the same way everywhere. Plus, Docker containers are isolated, which means no more dependency conflicts. And when it's time to scale up your application, Docker makes it a breeze because every container starts from the same base. One of the main uses of Docker containers is in the application of microservices architectures. Since it can help break down your application into smaller components, each running in its own container. This makes updates and maintenance a breeze. And if you're into automation and CI CD pipelines, Docker's got you covered. And that is all what Docker is on a surface level. If you want to know more about Docker in depth, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.